Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of the Pac-Man Pack Only Road to Glory. It's episode number 21 now, and we're starting off this one again with another season ticket pack. You can uh, you can tell how often I record this series by the fact that almost every other episode at the minute we get a season ticket pack, the weekly season ticket pack, and it is a very very good one. We get Javier Zaviola, Diego Forlan, Aurelio Gomez, who is a decent goalkeeper, Yunus Cabal, very very solid Premier League centre back. We actually get loads of players in this. Perisic as well, who will go into the Bundesliga team that we're building. And a pop of the Russian uh, centre attacking mid as well from Kuban Krasnodar. But this is the situation as we stand in Division 7. Got four games left. We need one point for promotion. Four points for that title to take us into Division 6 with a trophy in hand. And we're going to go in with that Bundesliga team. You see we've got Perisic on the bench because uh, he doesn't, fit into the necess doesn't necessarily fit into this formation. Uh, the two strikers aren't Bundesliga players, we don't have any Bundesliga strikers, but we're still able to get 100 chem with uh, the link-up with Roberto Firmero, the, the Brazilian centre attack in mid. We come up against an extremely strong Premier League side, Willian, Eto and Theo Walker up top with Ramirez, Paulinho and Santi Cazorla in the midfield, really, really strong front six, and the defence is pretty good as well, Glenn Johnson, Lauren Koscielny, Mamadou Sarko, Leighton Baines, and again David De Gea, we seem to come up against him quite a lot in the, in this particular series, and we get off to a poor start, it's a lovely lob lofted through ball up to Samuel Eto. kind of typical of current gen FIFA 14 to be completely honest, and uh, at the 8th minute we actually go 1-0 down, but we're going to be able to pull ourselves back on level terms just before half time, going to slot the ball through here to Rolfes, doesn't have a lot of pace, but that is the only ball on, and that is absolute perfection that drill ball across the box could not have been perfectly placed anymore and uh, Thiago Ribeiro is able to pop the ball into the back of the net easy finish with the goalkeeper tied up at his near post we're just able to slot home into an empty net so that's how we went in at half time then into the second half we're around about the hour mark now play a lovely love through ball to Wellington beats the goalkeeper to it tries to lift it over him but he just can't quite get it to come down quick enough we don't quite take the lead there but we're going to get another chance Roberto Firmino breaks inside the box just a case of putting it in the bottom corner and he pulls was it wide? I don't know how he didn't finish that. I was so disappointed. Proper, proper head in hands moment. We get another chance here. It's a lofty three ball to Wellington. He's going to break inside the box really well as well. Twist the defender inside and out. Similar situation. This time, rather than drilling it, I try to finesse it around the goalkeeper. We are successful. Wellington puts us 2-1 up in the 80th minute and that is how the game is going to end. We pick up three points. So we get the one point we needed for promotion. So we're definitely promoted into Division 6 next time out. And as you can see, we are one point shy of the Division 7 title. Great form in the minute, five wins back to back. So we got 16,200 coins, so I decided to go and open a 7,500 coin pack just to maybe try and pull a player that could uh, give us that little bit extra pushing towards that Division 7 title. So we're going to have a look and see who we get in this particular pack. We've had some decent pack luck recently. We get some decent luck again. It's Julio Cesar's the goalkeeper we pull. Will fit very, very nicely into the Brazilian team that we have. 83 diving and 86 reflex is extremely good. We also get uh, Thiago as well. The uh, Is it Thiago Alcantara? The uh, Spanish guy that went from uh, Barcelona to Bayern Munich in the summer. And uh, we're actually not using the German, the uh, Bundesliga squad this time around. We're actually going to go in with a Premier League squad to try and pick up that victory. Unfortunately, I forgot to change the goalkeeper out for Stekelenburg. So we're going in with a Bundesliga goalkeeper. But we come up against an all-Bundesliga team. It's Wiedenfeller, Alaba, uh, Boateng, Dante, Piszczek, Kevin Prince... Royce, Blazikowski, Goetze, Aubameyang and Robert Lewandowski. It's such an expensive team. One of the best teams we've come up against. The Bundesliga is such a strong league right now. Well, you say strong league, it's got a strong couple of sides in it with Borussia Dortmund and uh, Bayern Munich. But uh, we get a great start. Ganston Ramirez is able to put us 1-0 up early on and then Wes Hulahan gets played through over the top here. Nice step inside because he's left footed. Managed to hit the post. Fortunately, it hits the goalkeeper falls straight to the feet of Emmanuel Adebayor and we're able to take a shock 2-0 lead just before half time it's the 38th minute as you can see it was a decent turn inside from uh, Houlihan there and we just get fortunate that it bounces off the uh, off the goalkeeper and comes back to Adeboyor and uh, it was just luck really more than anything else but there's nothing lucky about this move really really nice through ball from Adeboyor great run from Ramirez he's going to pick up his second as a really tidy finish not necessarily the most powerful of shots but so so precise and accurate into that far bottom corner that Wiedenfeller, the goalkeeper, just couldn't get back across to it. But Blazikowski is going to whip the ball in. My defender completely ignores the ball. Yunus Kabul on debut. I was hammering B and he just stood there, watched it fly over his head. And uh, Lewandowski 
does the uh, the spectacular with that overhead kick. It was worth another look just for that. But you watch Yunus Kabul, he just stands there and watches the ball. And uh, it's a fantastic finish. Take nothing away from that. To uh, to take advantage of the defensive mistake with a finish like that is really, really nice indeed. Then he catches me on the counter-attack again. And uh, I've just not got the pace to cope with Marco Royce. Tries to pump fake with the goalkeeper. It failed. And uh, Marco Royce just whipped the ball around him into the back of the net. And they brought it back to 3-2. And I was getting a little bit nervous then that uh, he was actually going to get himself back into the game and maybe bring it back to 3-3 and uh, have a chance of winning the game himself. But Adebayor draws a good save out of Wiedenfeller there. We're going to pick up a corner. We're coming up towards the hour mark now. And uh, actually going to put uh, Gaston Ramirez on the corner. He has a better delivery on, uh, on him. And he's going to pick out John Terry. He's going to go out a great header and a wonderful reaction save from Roman Wiedenfeller yet again. And uh, that is really, really top class from him. JT, unlucky not to get on the score sheet there, but Matuidi's going to whip this second corner in. JT's going to get his head to the second one as well, and this time he beats the goalkeeper, powers the header into the back of the net, and we're going to take a 4-2 win from this one. So that is the title in Division 7 assured. We do get some more silverware, and uh, we actually more than excel the 17 point mark we actually get 19 points in total for this particular season six wins back to back to give us that piece of silver we're heading forward but in fact as you can probably tell from the uh, from the title of this particular episode this is the season finale for current gen pac-man we will be starting again on next gen within the next week or so uh, there will be a vlog coming out tomorrow which will be thursday uh kind of letting you know what the situation will be between then or now and next gen because of course the console comes out on Friday and uh, I won't go into too much detail now because I'll have a vlog for you tomorrow but basically the console comes out on Friday and we're looking to restart the career mode and the Pac-Man series for next generation consoles on Xbox One so uh, I went and spent all of the coins that I had left I only left for 45 they opened a couple of packs and uh, we'll just flick back flick through the club here this is all the players that we've all the gold players rather that we've pulled so far in packs in this pack only Road to Glory series which has been perfectly re received by you guys. The Obviously the pack only Road to Glory as it was genuinely called in FIFA 13 went down very very well. Pac-Man has gone down extremely well as well this year as well. It's not actually as successful as the career mode series which I guess in my view is uh, is good. I kind of I prefer doing the career mode series but it's nice to have some ultimate team content as well and of course we do have the odd squad builder every now and again just to keep things a little bit fresh because of course series like this can get a little bit dead after a while but we will be bringing Pac-Man back for next gen and uh, we'll be restarting trying to go from bronze because of course on the uh, when we started this one we tried to make the jump from bronze to silver but division division uh, wise we actually were coming up against full chem gold teams so we struggled silver with the with the silver team but i have uh, a new approach to uh, to battling a situation like that for the second season so that will be what is happening of course you'll you'll find out more about the uh, the near future on this channel in the vlog tomorrow so uh, be sure to keep an eye on your sub boxes for that tomorrow afternoon uh, of course subscribe if you haven't already there is a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen over the pac-man and uh, if you missed the previous episode in this series there is an annotation on screen over the pink ghost to uh, to that particular video and if you don't follow me already on twitter follow me over there at chesnoy gaming is the twitter handle and there will be a link to that in the description as well but that is all from this particular episode guys so thank you very much for watching this particular video thank you very much for supporting this entire series on current gen and i will see you next time